Hello friends, welcome you in KK Java Tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to check whether a given string or number is a palind palindrome or not. Before looking into the source code, let's try to understand what is palindrome basically. So we can define a palindrome if a string or a number is a palindrome if uh, it remains unchanged when reversed. For example, mom is a palindrome, right? As reverse of mom is again mom. Another example like Malayalam, right? If you make a reverse of Malayalam, you get the Malayalam string itself. Uh, when, when we look into the number system, right? So a number is called 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. If you make reverse of this number, you'll get that this number itself, right? So these are the basically example of palindrome. Now you understood uh, what is palindrome basically. So let's see how we can uh, write a source code for it, right? So there are a couple of ways uh, we can uh, check whether uh, a string or number is palindrome or not. And those couple of uh, ways I have explained in this video, yeah? So here, client uh, test one, uh, here basically we are taking a number, uh, basically we are taking an input from the keyboard using a scanner, right? So we are telling uh, to the end user to enter uh, a string which user wants to check whether that number is, number or a string is palindrome or not. And we have a basically method is called check input text palindrome. So here is the source code. So here we are checking basically base condition if input a string is null or empty then just we are printing or uh, enter valid a string text right and and if user enter some valid text then we proceed to check whether that uh, string is uh, basically palindrome or not yeah so here basically i have declared i have initialized one is palindrome uh, basically flag with false value and here this input string uh, basically we are getting the reverse of this input string using this uh, basically utility method a reverse input so reverse of any string easily you can add, easily you can get uh, that already we have seen in the previous video tutorial so here how basically we are getting reverse of any string here you can see we have in slide to one reverse string with empty string and here we are starting from the last index uh, of the string right uh, as we know that in java a string can be represented as a character of array right internally it represents as a character of array right so when you declare any string right any string then that string basically is stored as a character array internally and in every index one character is getting stored so basically here we are starting from the last character from the string and uh, just moving to uh, backward and uh, uh, backward till the zeroth index and just see we are decrementing every index by one basically we are getting the every character from the uh, array and just i am concatenating from last index to first index in this uh, initialized string and that's the way we are getting the reverse of this string input string right so reverse of input string we are getting by calling this uh, basically utility method and now input string is our original string and reverse string, reverse output is the reverse of this input string if both are equals right here i have applied equals ignore case so here i haven't i haven't taken a, a case sensitiveness in the consideration so here if you want to take the case uh, sensitiveness into the consideration then here instead of equal equals ignore case you can use equals method if both strings are equal then we are making this flag as is true else this flag will be false itself which already we have initialized now after doing this stuff we are checking if is palindrome coming as true then we are printing input string is a palindrome else input string is not palindrome it's pretty straightforward right let's try to test it out so if i test for the letter is called mom then this is telling us input string is palindrome let's say if i test for the string is called one two three so of course this is not a palindrome if i check for a string a number like one one zero zero one one so reverse of this uh, number is uh, this number itself so saying that input string is palindrome right pretty straightforward now second let, let's have a look into the second approach so here we haven't used any inbuilt api direct inbuilt api of a, str a string builder or a string buffer but in second approach uh, we are going to use a uh, basically uh, inbuilt library from the JDK to uh, check whether to whether a string is palindrome or not. 
so this code would be same taking input from the keyboard we have again check input text palindrome and here we are checking the base condition here now here i'm making use of uh, a string builder right in a string builder we are passing this input text and a string builder is having a method is called reverse so directly we are calling reverse method and as we know that a string builder is immutable uh, mutable object right so whatever operation you perform in this sv uh, uh, reference so that is basically stored in the string builder object itself now <coughs> i'm converting a string builder into the string by calling to a string method and that getting a store in the this uh, local variable reversed output and here we are checking if both a string is equal then uh, just making this flag as true just uh, as earlier project earlier uh, program right and here we are checking if this flag comes true then we are printing input a string is palindrome else input a string is not palindrome right so here these three lines of code can be basically performed in the single line of code right so here you can create a, a builder a basically a string builder constructor and then you call the reverse method and finally you can call the two string method this is called method chaining basically right first you create an object of a string builder by passing this input a string then you are calling the reverse and finally you are calling the two string method so you'll get the uh, a string equivalent of this uh, input a string and that we are storing over here so just to make it clear i have splitted this single line of code into three lines of code yeah so that's all i wanted to cover in this video tutorial so in this video we have learned two ways to check whether input testing is palindrome or not but if you want to learn uh, uh, how to check uh, whether a given string is palindrome or not so there are many approaches i have uh, uh, basically written in this blog kkjavatutorials.com right so this all of ways to check uh, a, a number or a string uh, is whether it's palindrome or not here you can check it out right this link i'm going to provide in the video description uh, so guys uh, i need your uh, love and support to basically uh, make my blog popular so please be support me and guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial